I want to start by saying this. If you know you're not going to understand me, if you know you, if you think I speak very fast, this is not your place today. Okay? If you will know you will not understand me in any way, this is not your place. You better pack your things and leave. Okay? I, I, I hope I make that clear and I hope that is very clear for you. If you know you're going, not going to understand whatever I'm going to say, if you have the impression that I speak very fast, get lost. Because today you won't understand anything. Today is that day that you will not even hear anything completely. Okay? So that should be very clear. That should be very, very, very clear. I want to address Wodemeyer specifically. You know, I've seen a lot of people giving excuses, trying to defend Wodemeyer for a very long time. For a very, very, absolutely very long time. And it's, it's time people stopped and called him for who he is. I know he's a lot of people's favorite. That's okay. He does amazing work. That's okay. And we cannot take that away from him. But it's time we called him out for who he is. You know? We, we only see the good side. We only see what he wants people to see. And which is okay. And no, I, I have no problem with that. I have a problem with the video that he has done, with the, with the, with the, with the videos that he has done recently, with this person called Ivan from US or from Cameroon. I don't know whether he's African or he's African-American. I'm not so sure. Okay? Sometimes you have to speak the truth. It's not that we are hating or anything, but you have to call it, say it as it is. Wodemeyer is not a good man at this point. I can confirm that. I've actually, personally, I've tried to make it, like, try to look at things positively for a very long time now. I've tried to look at things positively for a very long time, trying to look the good that he does. Of course, he does a lot of good things. I've, a lot of good things. I've tried to, the, the pitting of him with Marwa all the time. I've tried to try, I've really tried to look at the good side of things. But it's time now we called him out for the bad things that he is also doing. Okay? There's no point of now trying to... Pro I've seen a lot of people, even... I've noticed a lot of reactors try to... like. Try, it's like trying to... They, they, they attack him, but in a very soft way. They attack him, but in a... They, 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 they react to his whatever he does that is wrong, but in a very, very soft, soft way. They try to excuse themselves. They try to excuse him. They try to protect him. In a way, they're trying to baby him. It's like Odemai is a baby who cannot be attached. It's like when the Maya cannot, when he does something wrong, people must find a reason to excuse him and portray him as a very good man who is being portrayed in a, in a bad way by other people or by reactors. And whatever he's doing to Marwa, I can now confirm that when the Maya is behind a lot of things. That, let, take that to the bank. After what I saw, after the video I saw with, uh, with the van, I can, I can confirm I cannot confirm and I have beyond reasonable doubt that Wodemeyer is not a good man. He is a good man in other ways, but he is also, also not a very good man in other ways. That's, that, that's, that's, that, that's absolute. And if you know you are a Wodemeyer fan and you feel I'm attacking him, get lost. Go away, please. We are saying things as they are. If you want to go and, if you want to know what he is, you need to go and find out what I'm talking about by yourself. I'm not even going to give you hints of where to go and find that information from. How dare he huh? use the F word on, 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 on Marwa? He pretends to be someone who knows everything about life. He pretends the one who knows how to advise people. He pretends he knows everything about YouTube. Huh? You know, you know, you know a lot of things about YouTube, but you don't know everything. If you are, you are a married man, stay married. Leave unmarried people out of your business. Leave unmarried people out of your business, Wodemeyer. So you literally called uh, Ivan from all the way from the U.S. because he had drama, he had a fallout with the Marwa. That's what you did, so that you can you you entertain him. You ent you've entertained him in in your own house, just because of, he has a fallout with Marwa. That's clearly what it is, and you wanted to know the gossip or what happened, because that's what that's something that was trending for a long time, for almost a whole month. In regards to Marwa's episodes, in, 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 I'm referring to Marwa's episodes in the U.S. Up to until about two months ago or three months ago. I'm not so sure. Around two months ago. So this guy invites this Ivan guy. Ivan, for some reason, he came from the U.S. and decided to drop in Ghana. You know? He decided to drop in Ghana for some reason. He left his country, Cameroon. He did not go to other places in, in, in Africa. But he decided to say that he is going to Ghana. He, said he chose Ghana. As his, as, his, as his favorite destination, as his first destination. destination. And then he chose Wodemeyer 
as the first person is going to meet. He did not meet any other person. It's so coincidental and it's so like it 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 was something. It was a coincidence that that uh, what's his name? Wodemaya was the first person who accepted to host him when he came to when he came to Africa. And then they they were pretending, literally pretending that like I have a lot of things I've written on this book. Sometimes I don't. I feel like a book distracts me. Like my notebook distracts me in a way, or my diary distracts me in a way. They were pretending that they they, are, they don't know each other totally and completely. This, and these are guys you can clearly see from the video that have been talking for a very long time. Whatever they were saying was a skit. They, it was like until the beginning, they, when it started, it felt like something they were rehearsing or they were trying to say something, trying to appear that they don't know each other at all. Would Maya clearly say that he does not talk, he does not do videos with YouTubers? It, it feels like YouTubers are so dramatic. And that he did not know that uh, Evanch Adventures or Ivan is a YouTuber. He says YouTubers bring drama. They bring drama. That's now why he does not work, like working with YouTubers. And they don't bring value to, to, value to, his, to, to his channel. Huh? That's what he said, guys. I'm not hating on Wodemaya. You can go check him. You can go, go search him and see what he said. And, and especially he doesn't like women YouTubers because they're so dramatic. That's what he said. That, and I feel that is discrimination. That is discrimination. Absolutely discrimination. He said he only works with people who bring value to his, to, 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 to his, to his environment, to his channel. Which is also okay. I do not take that away from him. You only you should also work with people who bring value to your to your to your, to, 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 to who, who should bring value to you. Well, that is okay. Then why the hell are you working with 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 the with ventures, ventures or whatever you call it, van? Why why will you be working with him? What value does he bring? Maybe you should show us what value a van brought to you. Other than drama, you guys were literally gossiping about Marwa. You were literally talking about Marwa. You were literally talking about Marwa. I clearly saw how Ivan came praising you, the king of Africa, the king of all this, the king of all this, the king of YouTube, the king of African YouTube. You are, of course, you are a king in your own way, in your own capacity. Uh, but that's a way I feel like if, 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 if Ivan is a that's, that Ivan is a snake. That's how he talks to people when he wants to win you over. He praises you. People start by praising you, talking about good, talking good things about you, saying all the good things that you want to hear about you before they can attack. And I'm not saying that Ivan is going to attack Wodemaya. No, I'm not saying. <coughs> I know for sure those people are friends. Those people have been talking about uh, Mara since this episode or whatever this drama began, began in the U.S. Ivan, Ivan likes gaslighting things. You could clearly see from the conversation that he was having on his channel with with Wodemaya. He was gaslighting, gaslighting things, and and Wodemaya enjoys that from the laughters, from talking about how Marwa sends Marwa sent a thousand, and you don't understand how a YouTuber can send a thousand dollars to a woman, so that that woman can come and visit him. Haven't you sent money to, 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 haven't you booked a flight for your wife before you, before, before that? Haven't you done that? Didn't you go, guys go to different destinations? Haven't you met? Haven't you done that? Or do you want to tell us that, uh, if, um, what's her name? Uh, Miss Trudy is the one who does everything for herself. So there's no point in life that you've come out for her and booked her tickets or done something for her. Or brought her to where you are. So there's no point. So whatever Marwa did was so it's something un unfathomable, something that has never been done by anyone. Men book women flights all the time, and the same women also book book women, men flights all the time. Why is it so strange when it comes to Marwa? Why is it so strange when it comes to Marwa? So you want to re reference Marwa because now you feel like you are a married man, you are, you, you you are successful, you are, you, your ways are working. So you think Marwa's ways are not working? Saying that at some point in life you felt like you could marry 54 wives. That was your that was your journey. That was your path, yes. But then now that's you guys are literally attacking Marwa. Because Marwa is saying he wants to become polygamous. I don't know whether that sounds delusional or not, but that's the truth from what I saw. 
you think you guys are you guys are from West Africa? The two of you. You guys are from West Africa. What 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 has Maru and I'm not saying West Africans are bad in any way. I have a sweet friend from West Africa, that's not true. Can't you see what you're saying? What you're doing is wrong. Can't you see what you're doing is wrong with the Maya or, or whoever you want to call yourself? The big fish of YouTube as you want to call yourself. You want us to defend you, keep on defending you when you keep on dragging your fellow YouTuber down? Is that what you want to do? People, people defend you even when you make mistakes. People come, for, they feel like you, they, people have a soft spot for you and you're taking advantage of that. You feel like you're untouchable, Wodemaya. But you will not allow you to attack Marwa like that. It will never happen. It will never happen, Wodemaya. That's so wrong. And I told you guys, anyone watching this, if I told you, feel like this, whatever I'm saying is, is pissing you off because you are a fan of Wodemaya, please left the group. Leave. Because we cannot allow you people to be dragging Marwa down. Even the times now you dragged him down, he's gone down to the ground. He's trying to bring himself up. And then you come and put on your weight and step on him. You're literally stepping on him. You want him done and gone. You want him done and gone. That's, that's what I'm saying now. I've been trying to look, excuse, to look for excuses to kind of just ignore all this. I've tried to say that, no, I don't think what the Maya really, really wants, doesn't want the worst for Marwa. But now you're confirming it. And you want us to, to, to be happy. You say things in a very calm way, in a, very, in a way that you laugh and make things to look so calm. When in real sense, you don't really mean that. This neck called Ivan comes into your house and you don't know, you say you don't know this person. You don't know, you don't even know whether he's a YouTuber. And then you have the audacity to welcome them, a stranger into your house. Someone that you really don't know. Someone who just saw messages popping up on your, on, your, on, your, on, your, on your phone. You invite this person to, and come start doing videos about him. Ab, ab, uh, with him, sorry. You you are a person who does research. Even on this specific video, you said you did a research uh, about Brazil, but so for some reason you could not do a research and find out who this person you're coming who is, who is coming to interview you is all about. You did, you forgot to do that. That that failed to be important, and you you, you accepted this person to your home, like that. And then you tell you think you are fools. You think we are really, really fools. Actually, everything that it's, it's actually everything is really playing out so well, and people are starting to see you for who you are, Wodemaya. I mean, I think you may not even know who I am today, but at, at some point you'll have to know who we are, because we are Kenyans trying to defend our own. We cannot keep on dragging Maro each and every day, each and every day. Whatever mistakes he has made, he has made them. You also have a share of your own mistakes. You people should stop excusing Wodemaya and trying making trying to make him look like someone who who who, who I don't know. When you, you see them talking about Wodemaya when he has done mistakes, it's like this talk they talk it's like he's a god or something like that. You could be a god from where you come from, but you will not bring down our own just because you want to, to lift yourself up. You even say that Kenyans threatened you. Because of what? Why will you even threaten you? When you have our own girl, you're married to our own Kenyan. Why, why don't you even have a report about all those threats that came to you? Kenyans threatened you? Do even they have, do, maybe, maybe show us the receipt and tell us exactly who these people are. Kenyans mind their own business. They don't care even if you marry what you want to marry. Just come pick whatever you want to pick and go. We don't, you don't, we have no time for threatening you because of what, why? What exactly? Like, we, who, who is passionate about that like that? You, you guys are the ones even making us talk about, talk, talk this way. We normally even don't talk, talk like this. What is wrong with you? Eventually, what is wrong with you? You came all the way to look for, for, for Wodemaya so that you can gossip Marwa? Is that all you got? You want the drama that you've been so lost, your views have gone down, so you want to... to to kind of do what to to, to 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 talk so that people may not may know about you. you want to introduce yourself to whose audience tomorrow to to Odemaya's audience so that they can also know about you so that you can also triple your numbers. He shared your community your, your videos to his community. That's very good 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 work. But did you did you have to gossip about Marwa? Do you have to say the other things we're going to talk about behind the camera in regards to how famous you came to, you how you how your fame came to be? You said that you want to talk, you and Wodemaya are going to talk about a lot of things. 
be away from the camera in regards to how your fame came to be. So literally, the person you call the king of YouTube, I expected when you said you're coming to Africa, I expected you to do something, like something, like, I don't know, maybe I should lower my expectations also. You know, I tell people to lower the expectations. But then now for me, I expected maybe to come with something, with because it's what the Maya. You know, it's what the Maya you're coming to meet. I expected you to come and talk about a lot of things, developments, achievements, and all this stuff. You only came to Kenya to gossip, to Africa to gossip Marwa, someone who is in South America, doing whatever he's doing. After you stepped and tarnished his name in, in, in the U.S., talked and dragged him all over. Now you came to hit the nail of the coffin so that he goes and never comes back. What do you guys want? Well, the Maya, I'm so ashamed of you. Shame on you. Shame on you. This is coming from Kenya now. Shame on you. You're, you're such a disgrace. Whatever you've done has tarnished your name. And those who feel like it has not, it, it, whatever, I don't know what, the people who see you mostly are maybe from, uh, maybe outside Africa. But we know you now. You are not as clean as you seem to be. Mm. You are not as clean as you seem to be. You are talking, you say you are a humble man, you talk about all these things, you, 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 you don't want to show a lot of things on camera. When you are literally bragging about how much you own, you are literally talking about how much you own, how many buildings you have. I don't know whether that is bragging nowadays, but literally, because now when someone says he's a humble man, he doesn't like telling people what, what he owns, what he does, what he does for a living away from YouTube. He only wants people to talk about what the, the art that he brings. We talk about the art that you bring. But then now, whatever you are doing on that video, does not depict a humble man. It depicts an arrogant human being. Someone who people don't know. At least Maru, for Maru, we see him for who he is. He doesn't have any other thing. He doesn't bring this personality of being a great guy from January to January. He is the, he's a person who shows his flaws and we learn and we learn a lot from that. But you, on the other hand, you only show the good side. We only, we only see these parts. We, we only see these parts clean as a book. Clean, you're clean. As, you're, you're always clean. We don't see this other side. But at least we are, trying to, we are now seeing you for who you are. You don't like drama. African African YouTubers are drama, are dramatic. Then why can't you? Okay, at least Ivan Kamp is an American citizen. He's not an African. At least now, maybe you're trying to, you you're looking for people who maybe who bring value to you. But he, this guy did not specifically bring value to you. He did not specifically bring any value to you, other than you came there gossiping as women. You were literally gossiping and laughing at Marwa, simply because he booked a flight. From Poland to uh, to Kenya to sorry to to the US. That, that, that you th and you felt like you should not do that because now you're a married man. You're so experienced. You've only been married for a year, guy. You, you have no nothing in it. You you have no experience in nothing. You have zero experience. You have you have zero experience. You cannot come here try advice. And you are advising people. Are you a marriage counselor, Wodemaya? What are you? Are you a marriage counselor? You come so hard for, for Maro like that's someone who's not minding his business, someone who does not even talk. Even I even did a video. He is sympathized with you when you lost your your, your channel. Huh? I know that whatever I'm saying is so it will be unpopular to a lot of you. It's going to be very unpopular. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Sometimes we have to say the truth. He cannot bring down another African just to bring himself up. He cannot. We also, we, we also love Maro. We love Maro for what he is and who he is. And you people are different in your own ways. He doesn't have to do things like you. Maro doesn't have to do things like you. He doesn't have to go interview entrepreneurs. That's what you do. You interview entrepreneurs day in, day out. You know, He travels around the world. He does things. He shows lifestyles. People, simple lifestyles. That's what Maro does. He does not have to just do what you have to do. He does not have to marry the way you've married. You did your wedding. Everyone was happy for you. I even congratulated you. But coming for Marwa, trying to see his, say his ways are worth, are, are fucked up. You even use the word fucked up on Marwa? On what he does? You feel like your way is the best way? Your way is the only way? People should only emulate you and not other content creators? You feel like other Africans are imitating what you're doing? You are the one you want? You feel like you're the pioneer of everything, of travel? Of, of interviewing entrepreneurs, really? So, other, you, 
other, I've seen Ayotena, is he Ayotena or something? This other guy from Nigeria. He also does amazing content, we follow him. So he started his channel because you started your channel? Don't you think other people have motivations? Are you not the first person to start doing that? You may have a million subscribers. We have other people even in Kenya who have a million subscribers who do other different kinds of content. People are inspired differently. What a shame. Today you are ashamed of you. It has taken me around four or five days to talk about this. I was really waiting for this time to come and tell you what I really think. I know you don't care. It may not offend you. It may sound dramatic because it comes from a woman because for some reason you discriminate against women. But then I have to say it. Okay? If you feel like I'm, I'm attacking your leader or your person, I'm not attacking Odemaya whatsoever, but it's because of what he said. I'm not attacking him. I'm responding and reacting to what he said. If you're a, if you're, you're a son, I'm sorry. This has to be said. I, I, if you look at from before, I've talked only good things about Odemaya, but this is it. It's a wrap now. He clearly showed who he is to us, and we don't care anymore. If you're going to drag Marwa down, we're, going, we're also going, we're going to drag you when you do something wrong. That's, that's, that's nonsense, whatever you're saying. You gave very good advice of telling people to be who they are, do what they want to do. And that's exactly what Mara is. You told people to be consistent. I saw Mara being consistent. You, you didn't talk even anything positive about what Mara does. You only went for the women that, the woman or this lifestyle. He wants to marry many women. That's what you went after. You went attacking him because of that. He, he flew a girl into the country. You went attacking him for that. And this other fool who was gaslighting everything. The only thing he was doing was talking about you, talking about Marwa. And laughing sarcastically. He laughs like, I don't know what he laughs. He has a very weird laughter. Shame on you, Ivan. You, you don't do, you're saying you cannot do collabs with other YouTubers. Simply because after you do collabs and they they, 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 they turn and, and start being dramatic, they say things that you don't say. And can you can you now can you take the, the amount of heat Maro is taking? Maro does not shy away from supporting YouTubers, whether you are from Africa, whether you're a woman, whether you're a man. That's why I feel like he's the king of Africa. He doesn't shy away from all this kind of criticism. Because it seems that you are afraid of criticism, you are afraid of, of, of a lot of things. And Maro has the balls. He has the guts to do all these things. But you feel some way, because now he faces a lot of criticism, you feel like you're better than him. You're not better than Marwa. And no one is better than everyone. Odemaya, just so you know. Ivan, Ivan, I'm so disappointed in him. Like, I got so disappointed in him the other side in, when, when he was, when he was in, in the U.S. I don't even feel like he deserves my attention. I don't feel like absolutely that he deserves my He's a fake. He's a hypocrite. He's a backstabber. You could see how he's gaslighting things in his videos with Odemaya. He, he, he asks questions that are likely, to, that will, will, will elicit mixed reactions and negativity. I don't know if you guys saw that. I thought with Wodemaya he'd be at 100,000 views by now. I thought with Wodemaya he'd be at 200,000 views by now because he has done a video with Wodemaya. I thought like it, right now he could be talking about something different. But look at what, where he is still. People did not appreciate what you did. People did not appreciate you, Wodemaya, and you criticizing and putting Mara down. Who does, like God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Like, you could talk about anything else, and you only posted videos in, regarding to grammar. So he talks about not wanting, what the man talks about not wanting grammar at all, at all. But he, he does the same, same thing he's talking about in that video. Addressing and calling other women, discriminating against women YouTubers. Saying that, thinking that we are dramatic, we are what was this and this. Of course I'll be dramatic because I'm a reactor here. It's, I'm not being dramatic actually, I'm even being real. I've never been dramatic even for once to in, in regards to 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 Odemaya or anything like that or whatever whatever content he does. I'm always in support and I appreciate and I love his videos to death and I've always been appreciating him. The content he does is very beautiful. But trying to bring other YouTubers down who want your support and thinking that they're dramatic because oh you've been backstabbed in the back. You've been, okay, you, I cannot take away your experience from you. Maybe you've been backstabbed, but why generalize it? Why do you generalize it? Why make it look like we, we are not worthy of your attention? 
women especially especially women that's what you said especially women when you the people who support you are dramatic as they can be and they are women uh, so who are be men are better men, better you men youtubers are better than women youtubers or what are you trying to say hmm? especially women okay Okay, that says a lot of coming from a great king of Africa, king of travel, or king of whatever you are. I'm so ashamed of you, Odemaya. You, you, you even pretend that you, you think that you didn't know Ivan, Ivan, Ivan has a YouTube channel. Oh, I'm going to look at that video, right? I'm going, I'm going to subscribe to your channel right now. Oh, I want to see the drama. What? Come on, you are so dramatic yourself. You're full of hate. That's, that's, that's the truth. You're full of hate for the Maya and they won't wait for you. People who try, people, there are people who are trying to say, oh, but I want to give you a second chance. I'm, or the Maya, I'm, the, some people, some creators are saying that they want to give you a second chance. They don't believe still that you, you, they don't believe what you did. But that's what's going to happen here. There's no more second chances from my channel, actually. I think that's it. It's a wrap. First of all, you discriminated against women YouTubers. Saying that they are dramatic or an African YouTubers generally or not African YouTubers, YouTubers supporting any YouTuber. Because you stand for Africa, you speak for Africa, so I want to believe it's African YouTubers. Both men and women, but most especially you wouldn't want to work with women YouTubers. Because you, you deem and they seem to be very dramatic. Not to your likings or your standards. So you're somewhere up here, others are down here, they cannot beat your level. Bro, you need to, to slow down. You need, really need to slow down. Why, why, why are other YouTubers less interesting? Maybe reactors will be dramatic. That's okay. But why are other, other African YouTubers less interesting? Why do you think they cannot bring value to you? Why do you feel that like they cannot bring value to you? The only people who bring value to you are people, you know, that's now so clear of what you are, of who you've become, rather. Maybe, maybe you started off well, but then who you've become is what now we are saying. The only people you want to interview and talk to and associate yourself with are business people. Okay, they bring value to your, they bring views. That's what you say. They bring views and value to your, to your, to your, to your channel. Okay, so that's why you cannot associate other people to other YouTubers because they don't bring and value to your channel. That's also very clear. Now, at least we know, and we would like you to be very open about that, like that, you know, so that people know. But for some reason, you chose a YouTuber, so you who you pretended not to know that he's a YouTuber. You accepted this, you talked to him all this while, you've planned for these conversations and all these things. But for some reason, you also accepted a YouTuber. And then to call out YouTube, other YouTubers, fellow YouTubers, and say that you don't like working with other fellow YouTubers because they're less interesting to you. When you are talking with the little king, king, king of gossip, king of hatred, king of gaslighting, you, you are literally talking to him and entertaining him. You even took him to your own house, a stranger that you don't know, that you just met on Instagram for some reason. Speaks so much about you. I am so disappointed today, guys. I don't know. I'm so, like, I don't, I've never been disappointed in Wodemaya. Like, I'm so pissed off and disappointed with him and disgusted with what, that video that he did with that, that fool from us he actually he said that he doesn't like africa is unsafe how come he made it to africa and how come he made it to ghana safely and even managed to, to shoot a video and do a video without anyone talking to him or attacking him on the streets Ivan, how did you make it there why didn't you even go to your own country first because you're coming to look for dramas and viewership you were trying to introduce yourself to africa through odemaya and odemaya doesn't even see, see that his things like now now Maro, 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 he wants to break Maro's heart. He wants to step on Maro. Huh? I don't know. You guys, I don't care what you think about this, but this is my opinion. At this point, I don't think what what Maya has, like he has, he don't know. You guys can go support him all the way, but then whatever he has done, he, I don't know. He, he has done what he has, whatever he has done is just pure BS. Hmm? Why, why didn't he stay in America? Because Africa is safe. So you think a man should not buy a, a, a woman a ticket? Rather, he should take a flight and go see that woman so that he can don't know he can save his money. Or he can, what what kind of nineteen or two thinking is that? You you I thought you were uh, you you think like an old I uh, know uh, I don't know you think like you were born in the eighteen hundreds.
you 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 calling you you saying whatever Marwa does is fucked up. You're saying whatever Marwa does is, is 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 you feel like it's stupid. You feel like you 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 you're better than you're better than Marwa. You you th- that's exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to depict yourself as a very famous and better and a better person, a better YouTuber than Marwa. That's what you're trying to do. Try to showcase yourself and try to picture yourself, position yourself as someone who's better, who makes better decisions. <coughs> God, decisions. <laughs> you make better decisions. You are the one who knows what is what, what is where. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you, we, we that is our person, that is our man, that, that's our that's our Kenyan, that's our brother. We will support him we, as we have also supported you. I even have said I, you, we will support Marwa as we have supported you. You cannot bring down a man who's already like you've already dragged it year in, year out, trying to compete. Now I can clearly believe. Now what people have been saying that you're paying YouTubers to tarnish his name. Now that sound is starting to sound true now. Now I'm starting to believe that. We are starting to believe that. Now it's it's actually guys. It, it's even starting to make sense. Huh? You just ask you I think you, you Maya talks too much. He just says a lot of things. He just talks because he can talk. When he, he when he says he doesn't, for a man who doesn't like drama, I think he talks too much. You could you, you everyone has their own opinions about other people, but for you, as you call yourself great as the African king and the African champion, trying to bring down another person because you dislike him, try to detain his haters so that you can and you know very well there's a lot of drama surrounding you. Of course, that does not pretend you. Pre, pre, protect you prevent you from that should not pre- 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 prevent you from doing what you want it's a we live in a free world but you know exactly what that comes with you know the praise that that comes with i know maybe our opinions don't matter huh? but at some point they must they will they will matter whatever you've done is wrong and i hope you whatever you've done is extremely wrong and we don't appreciate it we do not ab- absolutely appreciate it and may god forgive you for what you're doing with the maya I really wanted to be like I've been rooting for you. I've been trying to like say, "Oh man, this guy is amazing. Does good thing. Whatever you do is good. Whatever work you're doing is good." But trying to gossip Marwa and put him down just because you want to be, to remain at the top. So at least we got to so to see who clearly you are, what you stand for. You don't stand for the unity that you preach. You don't stand for bringing Africans together, as you say. The influence has gotten into your head. You only facts. Let's let's just call facts facts. You only brought drama. You brought Ivan. You accepted Ivan to come because you knew he has he had something to tell you. He had gossip. He had things to say to you, so that you can know maybe what really happened, or what has been happening. That's the reason why you you brought uh, I have Nani. What's his name? Ivan to your house, guys. I think this will be it for today. I I don't know. I, I I'm I'm so I'm I'm, I'm disgusted. Really, I'm, I'm honestly disgusted by this guy. One uh, we call Wodemaya. I thought he's better, like he's above all this drama and all these things. But I, for a minute, I don't believe he is. He's, he's just, a, he's just like most of most of us people, or most of you people, or most of everyone here. There's nothing good about him now, cause he, he's starting to tarnish the, the good things about him. But most now, I'm starting to see him. I'm starting to picture him differently. I'm, I've been his biggest supporter for a very long time now. But that video that he has been doing, that he did with that guy called Ivan, and I'm not saying this because I don't like Ivan, but I'm talking about whatever words that came out of his mouth. And if you picture, you look at it clearly, I've not even been talking about Ivan as much. I've been talking about Wodemaya. May God forgive you for what you're doing to your brother. I'm trying to disgrace him and looking look stupid, making looks look stupid, and make you make yourself look better, and as, as someone who makes better decisions for Africa and every other person. You have no one to add. You need to go and advise yourself, number one. May God forgive you. Like, oh, guys, I forgot. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't know why I keep forgetting this all the time. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, please. Also, remember to don't, don't skip the ads. If at all you're here, don't skip the ads at all, at all. Please, guys, they mean a lot. Don't skip. Don't, don't, don't if you're trying to skip even the next ad, please don't let it go to the end you know and also please watch and keep watching my videos and i hope i hope what i'm doing is really impactful and it's making um 
sense or rather it's changing someone's life in a way. I don't know. Let's try and see what happens from here. I love you so much and I care about you so much. I care about you deeply. May God protect you and guide you all the time. I love you. Bye.